the way things got broken up with the belly band that you came up with and I yeah mean, it looks great dude, yeah it's I, beautiful it, it turned out so amazing i did a job i wasn't the architect but there was no band around and all these sheets had to go all the way up in situations like this where you've got a well, window yeah. and an offset window up above and that sheet has to go all the way through and you've got to mark out two windows and get it to slide into the channel we're like We'd spend two hours on like one, one sheet. sheet. Yeah. And we're like, this stuff is the worst. No, I'm like break it up, smaller pieces are always easier. Tell me that didn't turn out freaking amazing. Evan, beautiful design. You did you you nailed it, dude. You absolutely nailed it. Evan is our architect and we got a hold of him and he was willing and interested in working on this and he just absolutely killed it just he took all of our ideas of our colors that we wanted and and materials and he put this together in such a way that's just absolutely bang out Evan thank you thank you thank you so let's move on with our process of getting this bad boy done so we had two different siding companies work on this. I do a little educating for someone who's gonna be doing this themselves and, and hiring people. But the owner of Crossroads Construction, his name is Sean, and uh, I was given a reference to this company because of another company I was um, working with. And he's, he had a concern that homeowners were too picky. And I thought, you know, I get it. Yeah, I, I, I can see. Normally, they do just commercial products, commercial buildings, apartments. And, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm too picky. I I just want this stuff installed correctly, and I got a bid from them, and we went forward. And he sent three of his guys out. One was a cut guy. You know, he would cut stuff for the other two guys. The other guy. He was supposed to be the one that liked to throw his sig butts in my yard. Um, he was the lead guy. And then there was another guy. And the other guy said, oh, I've never installed this before. And I thought that Nichiha, you had to be a certified installer, certified dealer. It's kind of the way I understood it, but I guess I was wrong. But he put the new guy who's never done this on the back side of the house, which is the most difficult part of the house. And I'll show you why in just a second. Um, but there was a section up on the roof right about here that um, there was a wire. It's the only spot on the house where there was a wire behind the sheeting. And I spray painted it and went down and grabbed the guy and said, hey, you know, just I can't have any screws in this area. It was a very, it was eight foot by like three inches. And I come home later that day or the next day and he had pounded five three-inch screws through that sheeting. Talk about frustrating. I spent a Saturday cutting the side of it, cut the Tyvek off, take his, take the Nichiha that he put on there, take that off, take the Tyvek off, cut the Tyvek off, cut the, cut the sheeting on my house so that I could expose that wire. I obviously, I can't get to it from the inside because of the shipping container. So had to expose that wire there was one of the screws that was resting up against the wire. So luckily I didn't have to replace the wire. But needless to say, I spent half of my Saturday cutting my house apart. Talk about frustrating. There was some pieces of trim. I don't know if I can point in the right spot, but there's some pieces of trim that weren't nailed down. And then there was some pieces of trim that had um, dents in it. And then there was on the very top corner, right up there, there was a gap between my soffit and my siding that was like an inch big. Like, I don't think that's gonna hold out bees, let alone bats and everything else. So I ended up tearing off my soffit, redoing that. And then in the process, I noticed that they went with the soffit trim, they went over the other trims. So now I got gaps all over the place. Start to finish, it was, it was like every single day that I had to talk to these guys and say, hey man, you know, can we fix this? Can we fix that? And uh, let's just say it was probably 
the most stressful month that I've had on this build to date. Um, on the back of the house where he had the new guy, the problem here is when, when doing something like this, where you got, you, they, they start at the bottom and then they go up and all these lines have to meet, right? Three times they put up that siding and tore it off. Pounded holes all through my Tyvek and didn't tape any of it. Um, so this company was worried about warranting their work because they weren't the ones doing the Tyvek. They were concerned about water getting around the windows. Well, I had professional construction guys Tyvek the house and that was not a concern of theirs or mine everything was flashed around the windows correctly everything turned out perfect but that was their main concern and they ended up pounding a bunch of holes in the side of my house not happy about that either so then come to the end of this I with these guys the very last day I had had an it was probably the last day they were out here and I I I couldn't take it anymore. I told them, you just give me the material, I'll finish the soffit. I'm I'm done dealing with this. This section of Nichiha around the kitchen window, I did myself. No visible screws, everything is tight, all the shims were used correctly. It was actually really easy product to install. So if you ever want to do Nichiha, um, this is not rocket science and you guys can definitely do this on your own uh, it's a beautiful product at the end it's a little spendy but it's a, a very beautiful product um, moving towards the end there they needed a sean needed to get his last check from me and i'm not going to give you the whole conversation but how that ended up happening is he ended up i, I had two questions for him first question was you know, I pointed out all the stuff that I thought was incorrect and know that was installed incorrectly. And I just said the dented trim, the all of it. And I, I just asked him, I said, is this being too picky? And he wouldn't answer me. I asked him again, wouldn't answer me. I asked him three times, is this me being too picky? Wouldn't answer me. So I said, Sean, if... If the shoe was on the other foot, if you were me and I was you, what would you do? I mean, any normal person would be like, you're doing it right. You're going to tear it off and redo it. You're going to fix what you screwed up. And his answer was, well, it looks like you think that we sh** your job site and you just brought me out here to rub my nose in it. This guy, but I want to end this story well. And I want to end this awesome. And I'm gonna. Exactly. All right, guys, we're standing out here with Mike Heiderscheid. Hey, guys, Mike is the one that owns uh, Roof Panels Plus. They took care of all the standing seam steel, the fascia, the trim, the, he, they bent up all the metal and they had, uh, he had his guys, Mike and Dylan install this. They did an absolute killer job. I, you're gonna hear me say it a million times because I was so excited about the work that these guys were doing, how much fun they were to have out here. Uh, but I met Mike, oh, probably over 10 years ago. Yeah, did a, so. you probably, yeah. yeah, it was at least at that. At least that, I think. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you had, he had ordered a windshield from us and I went out and did the windshield and lo and behold, 10 years later, we're friends, we're good friends. Um, and that's, correct, that's yeah. why we picked him to do this, but I, I couldn't have imagined it turning out any better than it did. Um, so I wanted to have Mike in front of the, on the tripod in front of the camera with us to explain in a little bit more detail than what I know, cause I'm just a dumb glass guy. So I want to talk to Mike and say, what did you do with our house? The guys on the, that are watching our channel, guys and gals want to know what you used and why you used it. Okay, well thanks Ian for the introduction. I really appreciate that. Uh, we used a 24 gauge Kynar metal uh, that we produce at our shop in Ham Lake. And you guys, you guys get, you obviously don't, you're not the foundry, so you get the roll of metal, you put it through your machines and you bend it to what you want. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yep, we make the panels to the size. Um, that is for each area on the home you can see behind us. 
uh, at least one size, if not several sizes that are here. Uh, we bend them at the shop, we take a coil and we put them into that uh, machine and out comes the panel. So we got all the metal. We The diff, most difficult part for me and Jana was picking out the color, but we got the color picked out and we came up with this standing seam idea because between me and Mike talking, we, we thought that having that standing seam on there instead of any other profile, it would give it kind of that metal box look. So then we still kind of obtain that shipping container look on the outside. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but as everyone complains about, we can't see the containers on the outside of the house. Uh, we wanted to see them on the inside, but we got this feel of a shipping container on the outside. So when it comes to all this metal work, Mike, don't you like sell metal to other companies that are installing their own metal? Yes, yeah, we definitely do. We go ahead and uh, we'll sell to any contractor that can give us some specs of what they need and uh, choose a color and we're happy to make metal for anybody in the Twin Cities metro area, for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I want to give one last shout out to Mike and Dylan. These were the guys, dude, I, I don't know if all your crews are like that, but these guys, I mean, like I possibly have mentioned in the past, I even got them a, a lighter when they were done and I engraved on it. That I Thank you for sharing your talents with our family. And that's exactly what it is when you see guys like that work. They have a talent and they you can watch them work and see that they actually enjoy what they're doing. If there's someone working on your house or on your project and they don't look like they enjoy what they're doing, start over, find someone new. But Mike, the guys that you had sent out uh, just did a fabulous job for us and we're so grateful that we that things ended up the way they ended up. So Excellent, yes, Mike and Dylan are, are definite, our top installers. Uh, they get to do the projects where we really want to make sure that there's attention to detail. We do on every project, but on certain projects, attention to detail is more important than on other massive projects, let's say. So uh, if you need any metal work done, or you need any metal work bent, any contractors or other homeowners, uh, roofpanelsplus.com, uh, or you can reach us at uh, area code 612-240-5263. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Mike. No, I, thank you, dude, Ian. Yeah. You rocked it. Yes. I love this guy. This is, yep, we are this good is friends. The, this is the best part about working on this stinking house, is that I all these... All these relationships that I've made over the last 15, 20 years of being in business, now I get to hire these people that have hired me for so long, and I get to build even more on these relationships and have fun with their guys and screw around and see what they do at their best. So thank you very much. We Mike. really appreciate the work, Ian. Thank you. Awesome. Don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, this is just a house. It's going to be a pile of rubble someday. I'm going to be dead and gone. This thing will be gone this doesn't have the same value as a human being to me. So the people working on this house um, are the most important thing. But when you get people that could give a crap about what you're doing and the money you're spending, it's tough. It's really tough. I mean, almost ready to snap like a number two tough. All right, everyone. Uh, this is a very hard video for me to put together personally because of the topic that that we were on. Uh, as you can tell on our channel, we like to be very positive and uplifting with our projects. And things don't always stay positive and uplifting. So <laughs> we've dealt with a couple of people that um, things haven't worked out and you guys don't even know about it because we don't even put them on, on, any, of the, uh, on any of the videos. Um, I just felt like if someone's building a project, massive, small, whatever it is, you're going to run into trouble with contractors or someone who doesn't have the same views as you or even the same moral compass. And we wanted to show you that we kept our character intact by the way we dealt with um, this crossroads construction. Uh, we paid them in full and sent them on their way and said, we don't want you back here again. Um, moving forward, I did talk to Michiha, the, the supplier of the manufacturer of the product and they seemed really concerned at first that their product wasn't installed correctly. I don't know if they contacted the company or what happened, 
but uh, I've heard crickets from Nichiha since. Um, they, they were gonna send someone out to inspect everything. I haven't seen anyone, haven't heard anyone, haven't seen an email. So I'm not too impressed with the Nichiha brand themselves. Maybe they just have gotten busy and haven't gotten back to me yet, but it has been a couple of months, so. Yeah. Um, and as you can tell, we are inside the house. See a little sneak peek for our next video. I'll be looking for that coming out beginning of December. And I hope that everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you're watching from the U.S. with your family, be able to get some time off and relax and enjoy your turkey. Yeah. I hope you're relaxing on your coach right now, enjoying Black Friday. Now remember, caviar taste on a sunfish budget. Mm -hmm.